Are we actually going now? What's up, students? Welcome to our first ever online Devo. We are so glad you're here. And we're so excited that you all joined us last night during our little live stream worship. Man, it was such a good time to join with you. We loved watching your comments, loved the pictures of all your small groups afterwards. And I just wanna encourage you, if you guys join with your small group, take a picture, tag us on Instagram, bt underscore msm, bt underscore hsm. We would love to see those groups. Um, but we're gonna jump into our Devo today. And I wanna start, before we jump into the word, talking about why we're doing this. And there's really two main reasons. And the first is this, you are all experiencing this crazy season of change. I tell middle school all the time that middle school is the season of your life where change happens more than ever. But I think I wanna amend that right now and say, right now, all of us are experiencing this weird season of change. In the past two weeks, everything has changed for you, right? You might be suddenly homeschooling, right? You're starting online classes today or you started them last week. You can't go out, right? You had these ideas of what the rest of your year was gonna look like and maybe that's changing. Everything is changing. And what I know to be true is that when change happens, a lot of times that brings anxieties and fears because we're not in control. And so what we wanna do is Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, we wanna join you guys. We wanna open the word together because this is one consistent thing in your life. And God and his character is something that consistently stays the same. He doesn't change. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And we wanna spend some time reading about his character and about who we are in him. And the second reason we're gonna spend some time digging into the word is the simple fact that you guys right now have more time than you've ever had before. I don't know about you, but so often in my life, spiritual disciplines when I get busy are the first thing to go. But I get so wrapped up in all the stuff I'm doing that I go, I can't wake up early and read the Bible. I can't wake up early and pray. Man, I'm so busy and so tired. And right now in this season, all of those things are gone. You don't have extracurriculars, right? You don't have all of these other things, these extra things on your schedule. You suddenly have time. And so we, what we want you to do is, is to utilize that time, to use it wisely and to dig in and to read God's word, to read his love story to you. And so Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we're gonna spend some time digging in with you and we wanna encourage you to read scripture every day, not just Monday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And so for the next few weeks, we're gonna be jumping into a book called Ephesians. And if you have your Bible, I want you to pause the video and turn to Ephesians right now. And today we're gonna go just kind of high view what is Ephesians about. And then next, or next on Wednesday, not next week, on Wednesday, Caleb is gonna jump in and go through verses three through 14 with us. Well, we're gonna look at verses one and two today. So if you have your Bible, this is what it says. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, to the saints who are in Ephesus and are faithful in Christ Jesus, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. What we see for Ephesians is we see that it was written by Paul. Right, you guys all know who Paul is. He's one of the, um, the apostles. He wrote a bunch of books of the Bible. And Paul is writing to the church in Ephesus. And Ephesus was this port city on the west coast of Asia, right? And Paul was really familiar with Ephesus because he spent three years in Ephesus and the surrounding cities ministering to them. And so the church in Ephesus and the people in Ephesus, he knew deeply and intimately. And he's writing this letter to them. And what's, what's interesting is he's writing this letter during his imprisonment in Rome. And when we think of imprisonment, we think of like behind bars and all of that. That wasn't Paul's situation. He was actually under house arrest, which for many of you might feel a little too familiar, right? And he was under house arrest, under guard um, by some Roman soldiers. And he writes this, letters, this letter to his, his friends, in Ephesus. And what's interesting is he doesn't write this letter to try and fix something. He doesn't write this letter to address a problem. He's simply writing because he wants to encourage them. And he's hoping that it will spread to the, the surrounding churches in the surrounding area. 
areas. And he writes this with two themes in mind. And the first is this. The first thing he talks about is that Christ has reconciled all creation to himself. And so as we read through Ephesians for the next couple weeks, keep that in mind. Christ has reconciled everybody to himself. And the second thing he writes about is he talks about how Christ has united all people from all nations with the church. So the, the themes in Ephesians as we walk through this, we're gonna see unity and love. Those are gonna undergird everything we're talking about. And so as you read on your own, as we talk, I want you to remember unity and love. That's the two things that we're talking about. And then we're gonna see this really neat thing as we read through Ephesians. The first half of Ephesians, and this is true in a lot of Paul's writings, right? The first half, he's gonna talk about doctrine. So Paul's gonna spend time looking at, at teaching proper doctrine. And the second half, he's gonna look at application, so chapters one, two, and three are about teaching. Chapters four, five, and six are about application. And what I want to encourage you guys in is this. Read ahead. Like I said earlier, you have time. So take your Bible, wake up a little bit early before you have to do your schoolwork, or maybe late in the afternoon. I'm not sure what your schedule is, right? And read this Bible. And if you don't know how to read it, I'm gonna walk you through really, really quickly a simple Bible study method that you guys can walk through. And so this afternoon, this evening, tomorrow, wake up and do this for verses three through 14 before Caleb jump, jumps into it. And so the Bible study method, method is called SOAP. S stands for scripture. All you're gonna do in that is you're gonna write down what verses are you actually reading. It's easy for this next one because it's, Ephesians chapter one, verses three through 14. Write down the verses and then highlight main important verses as you read through it, right? What sticks out to you? The second is gonna be observation. And this is gonna be taking notes on what's actually happening, right? It's the who, what, when, where, how, all of those things in this book. What's happening in the passage and what's the main themes? Third, you're gonna look at application. How does what you're reading apply to you right now? In your current situation, where you are, how does this speak to you? What might God be trying to tell you and teach you? And the last thing you're gonna do is then you're gonna pray. Pray over the scripture you've read. How, pray over what God has shown you about it and how it applies to you. Right, so scripture, observation, application, prayer. We're gonna have a graphic we're gonna post on Instagram later, which will have those things you can walk through. But dig into this word together, dig into this word on your own, and, and you're gonna then get to hopefully talk with your small group about it. That's what we really want you guys to do. And we want you to remember during this season that you're not alone. Man, we are here for you. Your small group leaders are here for you. Your small group is here for you. You might be isolated, but you are not alone. So please don't hesitate to reach out. We love you guys. We're so excited to walk through the scripture with you. We'll talk to you later.